Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will go over the process of adding a new product to an AppCommerce site. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.6L. First, log into your store site as an admin. After a successful login, you should be able to see the administration link at the top of your page. So we will simply click on this link and it will take us to the administration section. Before you start adding products to your site, it is always a good idea to take some time and create product categories. This will help you as a store admin to manage the products and it will also make it easier for your customers to find the right product. That being said, you can easily add product categories by going to catalog, categories, list. In this particular instance, we already have a list of sample categories in our database. To add a new product, we need to go to Catalog, Products, Manage Products. Click Add New. Enter the product name. Here you can specify the short description of the product. It is always a good idea to add full description as it helps your customers to gain more information about the product. Full description will be displayed on the product detail page on the public store. You can add admin comments which won't be visible on the public store because it is only for internal use. You do have an option to link any product with the vendor. You can display a product on the home page and specify the display order if there are more than one product. You can allow customer reviews for any product. The customer reviews will be visible on the product page on the public store. Product tags. Product tags are the keywords that are related to your product. You can enter as many product tags as you want separated by a comma. SKU. SKU is your internal unique identifier that can be used to track this product. A lot of businesses use SKU numbers or SKU IDs. In this example, I'm going to use SKU 101. Manufacturer part number. This unique part number is usually provided by manufacturers and brand. In this example, I'm going to use MPN 101. Price. This will be the list price of your product. old price. If you set an old price, this will display alongside the current price on the product page to show the difference in the price. Product cost. Here you can enter the cost of the product, that is the amount you paid to the supplier. This can be helpful to you for different reporting purposes, for example, calculating the profit margin. Special price. If you are offering any special price for a limited time, you can specify the date range. You may find instances where you would like to use features like Disable Buy button, Disable Wishlist button, Available for pre-order, Call for price, and Customers enter the price. You can also specify if the product is a gift card downloader product, reoccurring product, or a rental product. Shipping. If the product is applicable for the shipping, make sure the shipping enable is up, is checked. If the product is available for free shipping, make sure this is enabled. Dimensions. These dimensions will be used for calculating the shipping rates. Tax. You can manage different taxes depending on your location or you, you, you can even create different categories for taxes or make an item as tax exempt. Manage inventory method. When this is enabled, stock quantities are automatically adjusted when a customer makes a purchase. Warehouse. This will be used for calculating shipping rates. Make sure your item is published. And in order to save the item, 
simply click on save and continue edit. Once the item has been saved, we will go to the SEO tab. Here you can specify meta keywords, meta description, meta title and search in friendly page name for a product. In the pictures tab, you can add pictures to your product. Many online showcase their products from every possible angles. In the category mapping tab, you can link your product with the product category. In the manufacturer mapping tab, you can link your product with a particular manufacturer. Make sure to save all changes. Now if we go to the public store, we should be able to see our new product. And here is the new product. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knopcommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you. Mm -hmm.